Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Frostpunk in our little town here called New Hope where hopefully everything is going to go perfectly fine. There's a few things that I need to do right away and the first one is see what our scouts are doing. Nothing apparently. We should probably send them back out and see what they can find. It's the lone boulder, the supply depot or the abandoned sawmill. I'm thinking the supply depot is a good way to go. That's a day and seven hours. Main goal for this episode is to set up our iron and coal supply as a renewable source, basically. So setting up the buildings required for it. Now, I think we can't get the steam stuff yet, can we? Because we need the drafting machines, which I may research next. It's too cold for us to be getting coal right now. So we are currently on a 14-hour timer. Our cookhouse is off. That's not great. Could do with the heaters if we could. We are currently researching it. We have homes for all of our new people. They're a little bit chilly, but uh, yeah. there's not much I can do about that really right now. Discontent and hope are looking okay. Our illness problem is not too bad at the moment. We're on our way out of a cold snap. It should raise by two temperatures, which should give us enough warmth to go back out there, get some coal, while I am setting up the things we need. I Do we have the research required to build a coal mine? No, we don't. Or a steelworks, so I need to research both of those things. Well, that's fun. It could take a while for us to get that, because we're only at 25%. Immediately, our workshop is working an extended shift. They are going to get more done, but we do only have one workshop instead of two. A new law we can get right now. Uh, should we get the fighting arena in the public house, maybe? I mean, we could always move into the law and order or faith tree early, but it's probably not a good idea. Get the care house? Hmm. See, the cemetery is good because that leads to ceremonial funerals, which allows us to get hope from when people die. I'm not actually planning on people dying, which is, you know, one of the main things. But uh, it inevitably happens eventually. Or we can get corpse disposal, which is basically piling up the dead bodies in a big pit outside. But that follows on to organ transplants, which will allow our medical posts to work more efficiently by taking the bits, the useful bits out of dead people and putting them in living people. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure. Let's, for now, let's go fighting arena. Get an early start on the discontent. It's only 15 wood. Is there a place I can build this where I'm going to get quite a lot of people? I mean, over here. There's four houses over here, or I can get... Five houses over here? I don't know, it's four houses all the way, I think. Yeah, I can get a maximum of four houses. That's the problem with this slightly expanded ring, is that the uh, things aren't quite so good. Admittedly, if I build it over here, I can build to expand my housing over here? Hmm. Well, either way, we are only going to get four. I can always move it later. This this wood pile of wood is in the way. God damn it. I need to build it, though, so I get the hope bonus for passing the law. Hmm. I mean, for now, I think I'm just going to build it there. Because we're only going to get four houses anyway. And at least then I can build around this, even if it is going to destroy all the trees and stuff. But it should help us with the whole discontent issue. It's not huge. The main thing is we've got overcrowding in the facilities. Only by one person. But that's enough to get the low discontent. Everyone's cold. Let's speed through the free time in the night. I mean, we didn't get the heaters tonight. We only have eight hours left. Are we over... We are overdriving right now. We won't need to do that for much longer. Uh, the spirit of Christmas passed. Hmm. Here's the Christmas thing. Christmas is gone. I think we can't afford it for now. It's not Christmas in real life, so I don't feel quite so put forward to it. Christmas is gone. Six hours. We are going to run out of coal in the middle of the night, aren't we? That's going to be a real pain in the ass. 
Hmm. We are getting a lot of sick people. But the temperature is about to go up. Hopefully it goes up before the generator explodes. Oh no, no. Okay, well the generator's shutting down anyway, so I may as well turn off that. Here comes the heat rise. That should make all of our houses back to being chilly again. Okay, we have a lot of hungry people. But the cookhouse should open soon. Heaters have been researched, so let's go for the steelworks first, I think. It's very important we get the steelworks working. Move. Time to get to work. Right, we need to put people on coal. Uh, put some children in there. I guess I'm going to get the engineers working as well. Let's get as much coal as we can. Let's stockpile it up a little bit. Uh, anytime you guys want to help. I could also pull somebody out of the hut. The cooking hut. Cooking hut? That's not right. <laughs> the hunting hut. Put them there as well if I really needed to. But they are full, so maybe for now I'm not going to bother. Let's turn the heating back on. Make sure overdrive's turned off. Good, we have more than enough wood. Our steel is looking really good as well. Hopefully people will start eating. Uh, sickness is a bit of an issue. Things are going to start getting colder again, so I'd like to get the generator upgrades. Oof, look at that. That was a big discontent reliever. Alright, there's the steel works. Let's get the coal mill. Coal mill? Coal mine. Close. And let's build the steelworks. Now, if I remember correctly, the... Oh, if I build it on this one, I might be able to get it in the range of one steam hub and save myself a little bit of efficiency. Uh, let's just... Yeah, if I build like a steam hub here, it should cover both for the price of one. Hopefully, let's just draw this straight down. Not very efficient, I know, but there we go. It should be attached. And that should give us a steady, continuous supply of steel, which is one of the main things that I always run out of. And then we can focus on heating everyone up and making everything nice and lovely and toasty for these people in this frozen wasteland. Uh, is it... Is it counting as having a road? No, it's not. We actually have to build the road. We do have a lot of spare people floating around, mostly... Engineers and children. Not great. Might have to build another medical post, you know. Just to get on top of this this problem of... Uh, people being sick. Always build it there temporarily. Let's do that for now. Let's build it there temporarily. And then we can put some engineers in there. And that should help us knock off... Some of these sick people. Ideally, I want to upgrade our efficiency in the health posts. I can't remember if that's a technology tree for the normal medical posts. I think that's just for the infirmary. Oh no, medical post upgrade. Thanks to improved tools and methods, people employed in medical posts will heal the sick 10% faster. That's something we need to do. Oh look, a steam notification. Payday 2. Man, I haven't played that game in such a long damn time. Oh no, we're back into free time. Well, admittedly, that means more people are going to be able to build things. Which is a bonus. Because we definitely need to get this up and running. These days go very quickly. We are still researching, thank God, because of the overtime in the workshop. It is about to get colder, so I would like to get the heating upgrades before then. And ideally get the coal production solidified before then, because we can't rely on these coal things down here actually having that much more coal in them. And hopefully one coal mine is enough. I'd like to get the steam upgrades for both of these. The main goal here, the overarching goal, is to get automatons to run these. These quite far away from the settlements, which means that they can... I can turn off the heating and stuff and not have to worry about running out of coal. Let's speed this up a little bit. Right, do we have anyone we can put in here? We have 15 available, so let's max that out. Hmm. Yeah, we should have... Oh, the scouts have reached the supply depot. Wonderful. Uh, the shack is falling apart, but its contents still have some value to us. 
Searching the shack, we found plenty of valuable supplies. Okay, food and wood. There we go. I forgot that was cool for a second. A, sw a windswept snowfield. Well, let's go check the windswept snowfield. Only a day away. I should really get... I could get another set of scouts. So I can really explore outside of the area quite quickly and find as much as we can. That might be something I aim to do. Let's oh, let's put some engineers in the medical post. There we go. That's, that's scooped up all the sick people. At least they're being treated so they won't die from mistreatment. As long as we don't get too many more, we should be okay. Speed through the night here. Well, as I said that, we got more. <laughs> Wonderful. Not great. I need bunk houses. As soon as we get a steel production underway, I will look at upgrading all of these houses to bunk houses, assuming I've researched it, which I probably haven't. Which you know by now. But I never research anything I need. That should take eight hours. It's going to take most of a shift. But I think that might be the next thing. Either that or medical post upgrades. Ooh, too many choices. Damn, damn, damn. At least we have enough food for our people right now, which is a, which is a major benefit. Normally, everyone is starving right about now. Advantage of getting the staff we need from finding those people has helped us immeasurably. Close this time of day. How come that doesn't have close this time of day? The... Oh, storage near capacity. That's what that means. Okay, got you. Should I get some storage upgrades? Depots? Probably not yet. Probably not yet. That's something I need to look at getting. And we can get another law. Let's... Ooh. With the public house and the moonshiner. Two things that are really getting me. I could do child labour all jobs, but mm, it's probably not worth it. To be honest. This is one that's getting me. Cemetery or corpse disposal? It's not really pressing concern, is it? If I get a public house, I'm going to have to build it. And there's nowhere that's actually kind of warm yet. I guess I could. what I could do is build the steam hub up here for this and build the public house up there. Or I could build the public house down here. Maybe. I want to get rid of these crates. So let's put some people on that. Only 87 in there. And the medical is getting a little bit out of hand. Just a little bit. people at work. Uh, wood is at full capacity, which means these people won't be working. Uh, maybe I will have to build a storage upgrade. Resource depot, that's 20 steel, but we do kind of have the steel to spare right now. It doesn't really matter where we put this, so I'm going to put it uh, just over here. For now. Out of the way. A bit that we haven't heated. And there is the coal mine. Let's quickly build the coal mine over here. This is where I find out my plan doesn't work, and a little part of me cries inside. Can I build a steam hub here? I think it has to be there. That should cover both of the buildings. Hopefully. Let's quickly get back on the research tree here. So it's either bunk houses or medical post upgrade. They both take eight hours. I think the medical post upgrade because we have got sick people and I'd like to heal them if I can. I don't know if we have eight hours left in the workday. Maybe not. On the plus side, that used up some of our wood, which means people will be getting the wood from here and clearing it out of the way. I could temporarily turn this off. Which would allow that to be cleared. Hmm. We are going to need people to man the coal station. How much does this produce on its own? For an hour. That's quite a lot of steel. It's not quite as much as I'd like. But... What was that noise? Ah. Long hours of toil. Sir, our people are worn out. Some of them have been working on extended shift for days on end. Their effort is taking its toll and they're becoming restless. They deserve a break. Uh... 
Ooh. I won't address this right now because I kind of need my research to be done. But I guess if they're getting restless. Who could have restless? Does that make them s sicker? Hmm. Do I have any engineers working in places where they shouldn't be? I don't think so. Well, how many do we have? We have 30 ones. Five in the medical post. There's ten in the medical posts. Five in the workshop. Where the hell are the rest of them? Ah! Fifteen of them are down here. Because I am toying with the idea of building another medical post to keep on top of this. We can always take them down. I just need to make sure that everyone has a bed. That they can rest in. I don't want anyone not in beds. We do have enough coal for now, so that's not a major concern. People are hungry, but we have food, so that's not a problem. It's just them being lazy and not getting food. Damn them. Please get food. Stop being miserable. There is the medical post upgrade. So next, I want to get bunkhouses. And we're going to slowly start upgrading everyone's houses to bunkhouses, which will take some strain off of our generator. Even though... Wait, did I actually get the first? No, I didn't. Oops, that's not the right one. This one... Heating. We need to get the generator power upgrade as well. That's going to take eight hours. It's going to go down by one before that's done. Quick, everyone, build the... Let's put this on... Work shift. Wait, a 10 hour work shift because they're not working overtime. That needs to be on all the time because we've got housing around it. Alright, let's fully. Uh, yeah, let's put. I want none in there, but I want that to be full. Six out of ten, that's not great. Am I going to fill it with children? It's not the best idea in the world. But let's put wood in there for now. I do have some workers working down here, don't I? Let's pull them out of there, put them into the coal mine. Uh, put you back in there. Okay, so that is the immediate concerns taken care of. We have steel, we have coal, and we have wood. Now, this is endless mode, so that number of... Oh, no, never mind. It is literally infinite now, rather than a number. In the other game modes, it has a number of, like, 999999 or something, which is, like, unachievably large amount for how long it's going for, but I think we'll be okay. Okay, the scouts have reached the snow... The wind-swept sne snow field. Thank you, Brain. A distinct spot in the first time we can use it as a waypoint for further exploration... Our search hasn't uncovered anything of value, but we may be able to reach some more promising locations from here. A large crater. I, I, I imagine people will be in these craters. Not that we have anywhere to put them yet. Oh, uh, can I staff this? Let's take some engineers off of here. And staff that so no one drops dead. There we go. They are working slightly more efficiently than they were before. Only 10%, but that 10% can be the difference between somebody dying and somebody surviving, so that's a good thing. Ah, fill up. Ah, cricket. Why are you people not going to the medical posts? Are you walking there? Distinctly possible they're walking there. There we go. We have 27 people. Sick. Bloody hell. Well, 28 people, but they're all in care. We're doing fine, all things considered. Just what I was thinking. But it is going to start getting colder and colder and colder and colder, and that's going to be harder and harder to keep track of. This does produce a lot of coal, 24 per hour. Hopefully that's enough. I mean, looking at this, we're more than good enough. Which means I may start building steam hubs in strategic locations around here so we can actually expand the rings outwards. Work time. Get back to work. Yes, get back to work, you buggers. Ah, do you know what I will do? 
not the economy. I always click the one that's not the one I'm aiming for. I don't know how I do it. I don't know what is going on in my brain, but it happens. Let's get the public house. Uh, patrons will be slightly less annoyed. I'm going to build it over here, outside of the working places, so people can go to work and straight to the pub. If, if anything is more British than that, I don't know what is. It's... That's a fundamental cornerstone of British social life, is you go to work and you go to the pub. Not that I ever go to the pub, but then exactly, I'm not a normal British person. I don't even drink tea. I'm going to blame the fact that I grew up in Wales, <laughs> even though the Welsh drink tea. <laughs> it's just me, I'm just weird. You haven't worked that one out by now. Hmm. If you, you obviously haven't been around long enough, that's all I'm going to say. We are going to need some people to man the public house. Alright, we are about to... There is the bunkhouses, right. Let's get the generator power upgrade. And look at upgrading people's houses. Now, <sighs> the problem with this strategy is that as I'm upgrading, people are going to be homeless. I don't particularly want to be doing this at a point where people are not at work. Or they haven't got a place to go. I mean, I could just do one at a time. It's going to cost me 10 steel. In theory, we have enough. Let's do one house. We're going to do one at a time. Hope this doesn't cause too much trouble. I, I would rather it if people didn't get incredibly angry that they don't have a house. We only have one person who's building right now. So an engineer who's just like, hmm, I don't have better to do. I'll, I'll build this, this house over here. 21 an hour. Efficiency's down slightly. Is that because of absent C? Because one is in treatment. Not great. In theory, as soon as the workday ends, everyone should rush to build that bunkhouse anyway. I normally ignore the bunkhouses, but after playing Winter Home, I realized that upgrading people's houses is insanely good at stopping people from getting sick. Even though this is just the mediocre upgrade, it's the one in the middle between the house and the tent. It's still better than the tent, which is, you know, it's livable right now. But if this will be comfortable, and when we drop a level, this will be comfortable, and these will be chilly. Chilly makes people sick. We don't want people being sick. Is there literally one man building this? No, where, where, is, the, where is the one man who's building? Ah, coal pile has been depleted. That's just freed up. A bunch of children. Do children build? I don't think children build somehow. They might. They might build. Do they? Somebody answer that question. That'd be nice. I mean, I think they would if you had the old jobs, maybe? But construction's probably considered dangerous, right? Just a, just a thought. Does the pub open all night as well? Does that mean that needs to be on all the time? Oh, we'll find out when it's built. Food is still looking good. If we, if we get too many more people, we're going to start struggling on the food front. But how long till this is gone? 48 is left in there. Do we have any spare people? I suppose I could put the rest of the children in there. Get in there, build it. Ah, good. They're building the house. The one man. There he is. Look at him go. Hero of the people. Who are you? What is your name? Harry Knoll. Ah, perfect. He's even got a Christmassy name. <laughs> Unemployed. Yeah. Oh, he's alone in this world. Oh man, biggest concern, poor food quality. Guess that's something we're going to have to look at. Now, at this point, lots of people should suddenly go and help, other than the hunters who are going out hunting, obviously, as it's their job and they work all night. There we go. And now we have the power upgrade, which makes me slightly less scared of what's to come. Uh... I think it's time for us to get the next machines. It's going to use 75 wood and 25 steel. We have enough. Get that out of the way early. We're going to try and stay ahead of the curve when it comes to technology, not behind. Like, I constantly am in all of my playthroughs. Like, Aurora was doomed to fail as soon as I celebrated Christmas, ironically. <laughs> Scouts have reached the large crater, and the pub is almost built. Yeah, here come the survivors. They're trapped. These people sought shelter in this crater during a blizzard, only to discover that their crawler couldn't climb out of it. 
Uh, that's eight children, 13 engineers, and 19 workers. Let's escort the survivors to the city. Most of those people are going to have to be hunters. And we are going to need a place to build... Damn it, I need, I need workers. Uh... I mean, I guess I could pull engineers out of there. I don't really want engineers working in the pub. <laughs> but if that's all I've got, then I guess I will. Children can't work here. No, children can't serve drinks. <laughs> you can't blame a man for trying. At this point, I'm just trying to shoehorn in children wherever I can fit them. If they'll, if they'll work, it'll be good. A public house has been erected in accordance with the new law. People are anxious to let off steam in the new house of respite. Now, does this stay open? It opens between 7 o'clock and half 11. Which is not great. That basically means that this is going to have to be on all the time. Okay, well, we'll put that on all the time. It just means we'll build some houses around it. That'll be the next agenda, I guess. Just putting in some tents. On the plus side, we have our first bunkhouse. Look! Aha! Comfortable. Let's build another one. Come on, gentlemen, all of you, you don't need to sleep. You're actually building all night. There's another one. Let's build another one. One at a time. Our health crisis is under control, thanks to all of those extra medical posts we built. Uh, I love the way these connect together. It's such a small thing, but my brain just goes, oh, look at that. They look like they're actually building a small settlement. If I, will I have enough to do all of these over here? I hope so. And we have enough to do another law. So this, I think it may be time for the moonshine. It's 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 never a bad time for moonshine. We can give people a bit of liquor now and then to soothe their aching bodies and souls. Every meal slightly lowers discontent and eating soup causes less discontent. This should like knock the problem of us currently making soup on the head. I'm a bit worried about food rations, but I guess the hunters aren't back yet and everyone has just eaten. That does kind of prove that we're going to be in trouble, though, if our hunters come. Uh, these, more, these people come back. We are going to be very strenuous on the old food. I'm also slightly concerned that when the storm hits, which is soon, uh, there's going to be a random condition modifier. I assume that happens on this as well, not just the rifts. And that could be that animals have mysteriously disappeared and our hunters are horrendously inept. And we end up having a massive problem of not having enough food. So what I could do is stockpiling food. But I don't think it's possible for me to get enough food to stock, like stockpile enough food to keep people going for any length of time. Uh, But I guess we'll find out. I wonder if I could get away with turning off the generator when it's this. Oh, I don't need it on Steam Level 2. Bloody hell. I know I upgraded it, but it doesn't need to be there. See, these are still comfortable. Uh, let's build another bunkhouse. I'm doing it one at a time, just in case everything spirals out of control. We all, we all know what happens when I try and rush things. Everything goes horribly wrong and people start dying. Not great. Contrary to popular belief, I'd rather my people didn't die. Coal balance is looking crap. That's because we're not producing any coal right now, I think. I could put the coal on extended shifts. Oof. Okay, we've dropped by one. We've got a day before it drops again, so ideally I'd like to get everyone's houses upgraded before it drops again. See how these are now livable? The tents are now chilly. This is now too cold to operate, but let's turn on heater. And that should just knock it just into being able to produce. Time to get to work. Our medical posts are chilly. Not the best. Nine people out of homes, but I think they're... How many people we got out of work right now? Four? No, they're children. Hey, there's definitely... There's more than one person working on that house, unless they carry on until they've built it and then they move on to their job as soon as it's finished, maybe? Not that I'm complaining or anything, obviously, I mean. 
job, guys. Now we are getting coal from over here still. I could pull off that engineers. Put on just having children. Ah, it's, now it's freezing. You know what? Let's pull everyone off of these. And we'll focus on using all of those extra people to upgrade the houses now. Because I don't want them freezing in the... Well, open pits. I mean, these places still have their bonus. I'd like to stockpile some coal. Let's make sure we're still... Oy, oy, oy. Why are we suddenly using so much coal? Why are we suddenly using so much coal? I guess we just don't produce enough. That's problematic. Distinctly problematic. This obviously doesn't produce as much coal as I thought it was going to, and it doesn't help that people are sick. I don't want to run out of coal right before the... Uh... Can we build another coal mine anywhere? We can over here, but that's not brilliant. Long hours of toil. Yeah, yeah I won't address this right now. You'll be fine. Kind of need to get the steam coal mine as quickly as possible. Next house. Yeah, if coal is going to be a problem, we do still have this over here, and I could. Do I want to put all the kids on it? Not really. I mean, yeah, it's only 78 coal in there, it'll be fine. And that should be enough to push us into the grain? Yep. <laughs> I guess I could get a coal thumper and stuff, but I'd rather not set that up. There we go, drafting machines too. Let's get the... Ooh, steam coal mine is three. Oh, that's annoying, but we could get optimized. What do I need for the third? 150 steel. Well, for now, let's optimize it. But no, we're, we're definitely gonna struggle then. We ain't, we're not gonna have enough coal. Considering we're on steam level one, Out of resources, that's why that's not doing anything. Hmm, we need more coal. I guess it doesn't help having this on 24-7. Come on, gentlemen, build up these houses quickly. It's about to get colder. You know what? Let's let's be cheeky and try and get them all done. Cold homes, really? Uh, I won't address this right now. Not with a bloody storm coming. Come on, everyone, build up these homes. There we go. Right, that's all the inside circle homes done. Now it's just these poor bastards out here. Still take into account the coal pile, I think. There is another coal pile over there, so I'm not going to send all the children over there as well afterwards. 410 coal in there. Maybe we'll be okay. Speed through the night here. Let's get coal there. I could take down some of these medical huts, but I think I want to keep them in place for the storm. Oh, I should have ended the episode now, but I think what I'm going to carry on... I'm going to carry on till the storm hits. Ah, that has knocked out my medical posts. Not great. That already has the heater on. I am going to have to turn it on to steam level 2 soon. One medical post should be enough. I'll just turn these off for a second, so they're not going to constantly bother me about being cold. Our food is going to be an issue, because it's just knocked out the cookhouse. Do I have 40 steel? I do. Let's quickly upgrade all of those houses. That's going to put a lot of people out of homes. Got wood and a lot of people. Crap! That's bad timing. Uh, I quickly need to build... We have 79 people out of homes. That's not true. 
building those four. So I need another four. Well, I'm afraid you guys are just going to get tense. I do apologize. Alright, if you guys want to quickly build that so uh, people aren't so pissed off. The next thing I'm going to do is build another couple of hunter's huts. And we're going to put all of these people in the hunter's huts. Uh, should I build them in a ring? I kind of like building them in a ring because they get that awesome... Uh, little... Like I said, we can always tear things down later if it gets in the way. Or we have to upgrade them to something else. We're building an awful lot right now. Coal pile depleted. That's not great. That's put us back into not having enough coal. Okay, all the children, you're working over there now. Thank you. Okay, we're building too much at once, I think. There's the coal mining optimization, I suppose that's... No, that's not really fixed the problem, has it? Um, don't have enough steel, I need 50 steel. A lot of people outside of homes right now. We have 12 people freezing to death. I'm guessing these are these people over here. Yeah, it'll be fine. Don't worry. It'll be fine. Okay. Probably could do with getting a care house, to be honest. Because I think we're going to start getting people having their limbs cut off. Listen, everyone. New law. Haunted in there. It's gonna be too cold. On the plus side, people are building these houses. Come on, build them all at the same time. There we go. End of shift. Go rest all you can. There we go. We have 19 people out of homes. These poor bastards over here are gonna be in trouble. Kind of tempted to put these guys on extended shifts. Nah, be alright. No point, really. And everyone got a home now? Oh, the scouts are waiting, damn it. Inefficiency, snow covered supplies, let's go. There might be a steam core up there. Okay, so now it's just a case of can we survive the storm? That's gonna be a major one. Uh, we have enough people to put inside of these, so we are going to, because we need the food pretty desperately. I know we're not researching anything right now. Which isn't great. Does that have any workers floating around anywhere, do I? No, not really. They're just children. I guess I could... I guess in theory I could just pull everyone out of there. No, I'll leave it 10 out of 15 and if we need to I will... ...mess around with it a bit more. Not like we're cooking the food anyway, so that is going to be an issue soon. Speed through the night here. Hopefully we'll get 50 steel. By tomorrow, which will allow me to do the upgrade. Storm on the horizon. A storm has appeared on the horizon. It will reach our city in the next couple of days. We have to call back all our scouts and prepare for the deadly cold. Oh... Can I not have you? <laughs> yeah, maybe not do that then. For now. The medical posts are full. are about to get very messy, aren't they? Well, we're going to have to turn that on. Actually, uh, yeah, we are going to have to turn that on. I was going to say, I could overdrive it. But no, it's probably not worth it. Uh, here comes the steel. There we go, 50 steel. Let's research the next. Ah. It's still too cold. Well, isn't that a bummer? 
Hmm. Oh, because the cookhouse isn't in the circle. Well, that explains that problem, doesn't it? Uh, can we move the cookhouse? Easier than me trying to bodge around. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Move the cookhouse over there. Which will free up a slot here, which I could probably use to build another workshop. Kind of need that as a priority, gentlemen. Let's turn off the heater, because it's just wasting coal right now. Losing a limb. Okay, I see. Okay, let's stop having the kids. Yeah, we're going to have to cut off his leg. Okay, that's the first person who's going to need to uh, go into the care house. Maybe I should pull all the children. It was a child as well, but we're going to ignore that fact. It's just another human being. It's fine. All right. Chilly over here, which is the same as them. Right, you guys. Are you doing the right food? No, you're not. Let's disassemble this. Okay, that would explain why I've been having so much trouble with the damn cookhouse. I can't believe it took me that long to notice. I hope nobody's been screaming that at me the entire time. Because that would be funny. On the plus side, we are now cooking meals, which has kind of hit that on the head. We have four amputees? Should I build another workshop? So that is yes, because we are falling behind on the research wagon, I think. If I keep going this way, this episode may be an hour long, which is going to be great for the people who like my long episodes, and absolutely awful for the people who hate my long episodes. We are not producing enough coal. We are going to be in trouble. We have to survive quite a while. We have to survive two days. I don't have two days worth of coal. Uh, Mbaga would be the response to this, I think. If I can get my the coal mine up and running... It's going to use both my steam cores to get this up and running. But it does produce 600 instead of 240, so it's considerably more coal. Uh, and we also need 40 steel, which I don't think we're going to get, because I'm going to use 25 of it to research it, but let's <laughs> hope for the best. Either way, the time frame means it's way outside of what we need, which is kind of bad. Uh, 27. I can't actually afford to take anyone out of there yet. Make sure I don't have any... Engineers working in the pub. 18 available? What do I already have? Oh, I have loads of engineers available. Never mind. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, Hope's looking a little bit rubbish. Don't know why, but it is. I'm trying to think of a way where I can kind of fix this. I guess I could quickly build a coal thumper and hope for the worst. Where I'd build it, I don't know. Up here, maybe? Does it even fit? Do I, I don't think I've even researched the coal thumper ever. I bypassed sticks thinking the coal mine was going to give me enough. But this produces 560. Twice as much. Should have read it before I... <laughs> before I decided that I one coal mine was enough. There's my terrible planning for you. I knew it would bite me in the ass eventually. guess. The temperature's going to go up a little bit, and then we're going to send everyone out there to get as much as humanly possible of that coal there. There's only 145 of it left. It's probably not enough. Half tempted to turn off the generator for the day. I mean, all these houses are quite good. definitely put it down to steam level one. I only put it up to two because of the cookhouse, which I fixed. Now it's broke again, but... Is that, that, that's fine. 
These poor bastards in the tents, they're going to feel it. It's about to go down three levels, which means they're going to freeze. I could preemptively build some more medical posts to try and curb the fact that everyone's going to get very sick. Considering they all just filled up. Okay, well that's the laws done. Let's, let's research prosthetics. We haven't got a factory yet. Listen, everyone. You but it is something I'm going to aim to do, is get a factory, get some automatons. Oh dear, zero hours left. That's not great. The generator is shutting down. Okay, they're all chilly. The only pro I was going to leave it for a day where we weren't going to have the generator on, but that's meant to the cookhouse is too cold to make any food. You know what, I'm going to do it. going to make people very upset that the uh, the generator is off, but it will allow us to stockpile more coal than normal for a while. Oh my god, the amount of sick people. Maybe this was a terrible idea. Uh, oh, because it's just turned off all of the medical posts. Of course. Of bloody course. I should have seen that coming, shouldn't I? Uh... I can construct the steel steam core. 40 steel, we have 27. Maybe, just maybe, if I put on an emergency shift as well. Let's see if I put that back there and then just. This content's gonna go up, but screw it. Emergency shift! We desperately need that steel. A note of thanks. Someone has left a note at the care house. It reads, thank you. With all the work we have to do, it's so hard for families to properly care for an invalid. Places like this make life a little easier for us all. Okay, the coal pile has been depleted. That's terrifying. And there it is. Everybody ever go over there and flipping put that up. Quickly. As quick as humanly possible, we desperately need this. End of shift. Go rest all can. Damn it. Cold homes, I won't address this right now. Discontent's gonna start getting a little bit crazy. I'm tempted to turn the generator on. Because it is about to get cold. I'm gonna run an emergency shift on the coal mine as well, I think. I know the heating's off. Alright. Discontent will rise by quite a lot. Do I have a way of lowering discontent? No. Is it a good idea? No. Good build another fighting arena there. This one's already running an emergency shift, which kind of worries me slightly. Maybe I shouldn't. I'll run it if crap hits the fan and we completely run out of everything. Ooh. Well, these guys aren't running anything right now, so we're going to take off that. Right, what do we need to research? Flying hunters could be good. The infirmary could be very good. Cookhouse insulation, that's what we're going to go for. <laughs> Out of all the things I could go for, that was probably the least important, but uh, I'm fed of my cookhouse constantly being uh, cold. Alright, here we go, here comes the storm. Are we ready? This is definitely going to run for an hour, this episode. Whoops! Note of thanks. A note of thanks was left for the doctor who performed the amputation on the frightened patient. It reads, Thank you. I was in terrible pain and blinded by fear, and my choice would have doomed me. I may be without a limb, but now I live. Oh, I'll live, I should say. You know what?
Build another. Since we have a. Okay, here we go. Oh dear, it's still too cold, even with overdrive. That's bad. That's really bad. Uh, you guys, I don't suppose you guys want to, like, stay at home for a while? Oh, I suppose I could leave you in there and... Ah. Also made it so the cookhouse isn't producing any food. How long can people survive without food? Boy. Uh, oh. oh wait, disabled by storm. Never mind. That's, that's still working. They're just disabled. On the plus side, I do think our coal balance is good. Finally. Okay, so that is one less thing to worry about. I mean, the medical situation seems horrendous right now. I guess we're just gonna full speed through it all. There's not much I can do here. Yes, 12 people are hungry. I say, could I put the engineers in that hunting herd? But nope. This is a very tense moment. I'm going to have to turn off the overdrive in a minute. That's going to make things even worse. Damn it. I'm going to have to be amputated. Yep, we're going to have to turn off the overdrive. Otherwise, people are going to bloody free. It's going to explode. Then you're going to be too hot. Let's see, and this, I'm glad I upgraded these. Because these are cold. But now these are very cold. Uh, we'll, be, we'll, we'll be okay, I think. Ah, somebody died. Damn it. First death. Okay. I've decided that I'm going to go cemetery because I just can't do the corpse disposal thing. It's going to, it'll make me cry. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. Uh, where do we want the cemetery? There's a question. Uh, a place where we ain't going to move it, hopefully. Uh, well, the next to the pub? We can call it the, uh, the Cemetorium Inn or something? Hey, give them a feature. Ah, somebody else died. Damn it. I'm going to be going under death spiral, I think. It's not helping that everyone's starving. Oh my god, please. This may be a death spiral. Warm up. I'll have three days to build another... Yep, yeah, well, I'll do that. That's like free hope. Because I will be building another one anyway. Because we're going to have to. Because look at the amount of sick people we have. God, there's 55 people freezing to death. There's people over here. Damn it. Oh god, discontent's going nuts. Please, warm up. people are hungry is not helping discontent. Oh, thank God. You helped the sick. Wonderful. Like I planned it all along. We made it. Oh my God, that was not fun. That was not fun at all. Right, we are still in dire straits when it comes to health. So I am going to quickly pop down some more. Is that going to count as being a heat zone? No. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Let's so build another one. A couple back here. No, nope, that's going to drive me nuts. No, 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 no. I should end the episode, and I am going to, but I'm just going to quickly build these... I think we need three. Oh my god. Definitely going to de deconstruct some of these, but it's just going to be enough to handle the fact that everything's gone to crap. Oh, whoops. I actually do need to build that. I need to connect this road to that road. There we go. 
quickly build this. Ooh. The wild weather brought an unexpected effect. Airborne ice crystals penetrated the lubrication systems of all steam cores. The efficiency of all steam core buildings and automatons will be reduced by 90%. Oh god, there goes my steam core coal mine. Ugh. We're gonna have to build a coal thumper. We're gonna have to. Oh, well, that's something I'm going to worry about in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and anything. Your comments are greatly appreciated. Any advice would be useful, as always. And, as always, I'll see you next time. <laughs>